So basically, we have to figure out what. Hey controls. guys. Oh hey. How's it going? Um, good, good. We have to figure out what we're gonna do for agriculture. Well, yeah. I'm trying to decide what country to do. Yeah, we're not sure, because I mean, I picked Macedonia and Greece in the conflict there, so I wasn't sure if we wanted to do that. I did the Lebanese um, and Israeli conflict, actually. I found a very funny mm -hmm. story on um, Sky News, actually. Really? Yeah, it's pretty dope. So it shows the other side of the story, because during the whole um, actual incident, it mm -hmm. didn't really talk about the Lebanese side. They yeah. just talked about the Israeli side on like certain news channels, but yeah. Oh, cool. Um, well, I don't know. Um, well, we have like, it's really cool actually. I found this website that kind of shows both sides because mm -hmm. basically the conflict has been going on for a really long time. Yeah. And it says that, I mean, it's really a no win situation because for Macedonia and Greece, they both think they're right. Mm -hmm. I mean, Macedonia in 1991 just separated from Greece, and because yeah. technically Macedonia and Greece were like one country, yeah. and or well, they were associ associated with each other anyway. And so Macedonia separated and kind of created itself as its own state mm -hmm. and became independent and has its own government and governs itself and that sort of yeah. thing. But there's this huge controversy over whether they should be able to continue to call themselves Macedonians. Only because Macedonians has been related to the Greek culture since like 2000 BC. That sounds interesting. It kind of reminds me of the Quebec Ontario conflict. Doesn't it though? That's yeah. what I thought too. And I was like, like, I remember it was like, well, obviously I was five when this happened. But in '95, <laughs> like I, I talked about it in high school. But in '95, like Quebec wanted to become its own state, so the government actually wanted to regulate a referendum. Yeah. So they did a 30-day um, voting process, and yeah. but the Quebecers didn't want to. Yeah, wasn't it something like 67%? Yeah, 67% I think, so. percent, yeah. I think it was that decided they just didn't they want just to separate. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Well, I mean, it sounds interesting. I have a Macedonian friend that constantly talks about how much she hates, like, how she's always referred to as being a Greek when she's actually Macedonian. Macedonian you know I what I mean? I'm a Macedonian person too, yeah. They yeah. hate them being called Greek. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, really, I understand it. Like, they define themselves as a separate mm -hmm. country, so it makes sense. Thanks. Yeah, it's okay, don't worry. It's <laughs> not We can just um, um, Okay, perfect. Um, so yeah, anyways, and it goes from like, I don't know, there's a lot of stuff on like how Greece basically just wants them to change their name. And I mean, my master, yeah, go for it. And I mean, Macedonia claims that they've never really been, I mean, Greece has never really considered Macedonia to be a part of Greece. Yes, yeah, since the ancient Macedonians yeah. regarded the ancient Greece or Greeks as neighbors, yeah. not as kinsmen, and the Greeks treated the Macedonians as foreigners, or, or in this case, barbarians, barbarians. Yeah. whose native language was Macedonian, not Greek. It also says Macedonia was never a region of Greece. Um, on the contrary, ancient Greece was subjected to Macedonia. In 1913, modern Greece and her, what? And her Balkan allies partition Macedonia. If today a portion of Macedonia belongs to Greece, it is by virtue of an illegal partition of the whole and occupation of a part of Macedonia. That's actually really important. Okay. Um, so yeah, see, so I don't know, just because I have so much information on this one, I thought maybe we could do it. It, it kind of depends on what you guys want to do. No, you can go now. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We picked a really awkward spot to do this. <laughs> Um, so, I mean, it's up to you guys. Angela, which one did you pick? Um, I think, I think I think Thailand is Spurs. Oh, yeah, the classic today. Which one? Thailand is Spurs. Finland versus France, oh, yeah. What happened there? <laughs> Not really. Just, I was just on YouTube, just looking for random videos about I guess, conflicts between Finland and I just found out what was it. Cool. I think we should do the Macedonia yeah. one. I, I don't know. I feel like we have enough information on it that they would be good. It's wicked. So when you guys. happened in 91? 91, yeah. 91, this all occurred. So, and it's still going. Yeah. It's still going. That's younger than us. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Anyways, um, did anyone bring a camera? I don't have a camera. I like my Me It's due tonight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Twice. these things come with cameras. They do, but do you have a thing for it? Or do you even know how to use it? No. I guess 
guess we're screwed. Well, we'll have to figure something out.